Ooh, welcome back, Charles of Dissada Havoc here, and we are back playing a little more for Rever Stranded Lost Souls. And I got a little bit done in the meantime, not a lot. I basically just cleaned up my Better With Mods area, so now all of the contraptions are hooked up. <clears throat> they all have their mechanical power, and if I ever need anything from any one of the machines, they are ready to go. Um, I found out that you can actually put a 3x3 grid in front of a bellows, and so... Uh, apparently like one is at one speed and then two is a little bit faster and then three is faster. So eventually we can get up to like nine of them and it would just totally speed up the process. So that's kind of cool. Um, I do need to turn that off so I don't have to listen to all that nonsense, but yeah, so all the betterment mod stuff is set up. Um, I, and I was looking, I got really lucky, um, having that urn or the no, no blue. And apparently it produces a ghast. Um, if you actually filter with the filter hopper and don't collect the soul, that soul becomes a cast and then it attacks you. So I got really lucky. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not going to complain because it's not often I get lucky. Usually I die needlessly or stupidly. Yeah, that's where we are. So I increased the size of our smeltery and as you can see, it's kind of awkward. I kind of like the look of the seared stone versus the seared bricks. I just do. And uh, so as I make some more seared stone up with grout or whatever, I will eventually swap these all over to the seared stone. Just kind of my own personal preference, whatever. And yeah, so that's all set up and these are, they're doing their things and doing good things. And oh, I did get all my levels up. So I guess I can kind of show you that. Um, everything is at, I think, 18 and above now. Yeah, everything's at 18 and above. The mob farm is producing me a decent amount of XP. So every now and then, actually I can do some right now. Um, so my lowest one that I really want to get up is building. So we'll push that up to 20. And then I just realized that I've got these skill points. It's unlocked the ability for coarse fruit to be used as a block transmutation agent, which will transform some blocks into others. So there's all these little skills here that I don't really see any necessarily useful at the moment. Small towns are getting too coal, uh, highly increased the speed of city mining, which could actually be good. Although I'm not overly concerned about it right now. Um, gathering enemy mobs will always drop at least one item. That's kind of cool. And then increase luck. So I haven't used any of those skills yet, but <clears throat> the option is there. I just haven't really touched on it. So, but we've got some fun stuff planned for today. The first thing I want to do is kind of off quest line. It was me doing a little bit of research and I actually tried to do this in an episode a long time ago. If you remember back when I had a chest sitting here with items of, Hey, this is stuff I want to do. Well, Hey, this is stuff I want to do. So under mob drops, uh, we get these little thing called grave dust. And I was kind of curious by them. And so I was like, well, what exactly are their uses? And there's a couple things like a strange scroll, right? And if you go to its uses or whatever, um, this one, the scroll casts a spell on you preventing damage for one second every five seconds. The scroll casts a spell on you preventing to lose experience or your beneficial effects if you die, which is nice. This one, I really, really, I think... That might be where these skills are coming. Or no, not these skills. These skills. I don't know what mod it is, but I have a feeling that might be it. Because if I die, and I've died a couple times, uh, this all resets. And so that could be, you know, bad. <laughs> but those reset and I lose them. And right now I've actually got, you know, my sprint speed up to like number seven. And I've started to do a little bit of on the attack side of things. So, yeah, I, I kind of want to keep those. So these are kind of useful. But the one I was really looking at right now is this guy right here, the Strange Tablet. A strange Tablet can be made into a Tablet of Recall. Tablet allows you to teleport to a memorized place. You right-click on a Graves Soul to link the tablet. So I looked up Graves Soul, and I'm assuming it means these, the Simple Grave, the Normal Grave, and the Cross Grave. And I'm thinking that's what the Graves Soul is, because I, I looked everywhere else and nothing else says, like, soul on it and grave at the same time so i want to kind of look into making one of these so it's pretty simple the dark marble is just uh one stone and one grave dust now i will admit that i did start trying to figure this out and then stopped because i had no heads and some oh, in the tools i think i put it yeah right here so i made the tome or the tablet of recall because i was testing stuff out right but i was like you know i'm, I'm right clicking and shift right clicking wasn't doing anything and then i kind of read the part about the the grave so what I need to do is actually get four of these. So I'm sure over here in the mob drops, I have some more. Um, I have three on me. I need one more. There they are. Uh, we'll take one. There we go. 
And then I did add behead. Ah, perfect. I added beheading. I've got two beheading modifiers on the mob masher. And so now I, well, I got one head. So that's really cool. Now if we run in here and grab four stone. I can craft these together to make the dark marble. And dark as graves. And if I run over, why didn't I get that before when I made that for this? Because this one uses dark marble too, right? That's what this used, right? Interesting that I didn't get that achievement. Anyways, um, so yeah, so we're going to make a normal grave. And I'm going to hope that this is actually what it's supposed to mean. So this should be a recall to the base is what I'm hoping for. So if I put you down, um, we'll just put you down right here, like so. Now I'm hoping if I shift right click or right click, there we go. There's no soul here. Okay. So how do I put a soul in there? How, how do I put a soul in there? I'm trying to figure this stuff out as I go. Um, actually kind of don't like you on the edge right there, but apparently I can't mine you up. I got to shovel you. Well, that's interesting. Let's do I have a shovel. I do. Um, I'm very intrigued by that, but that looks really cool. Okay. So I just want to move it back one. That's all super simple. Put you there. <coughs> so I'm curious as to if I have to die. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it says there's no soul. Oh, hold on. Did it just do it? Hold on. There's no soul here. So, okay, this tablet allows you to teleport. Right click on a grave soul to link the tablet. So, do I have to kill something above it? Is that what has to happen? I don't know. I'll look more into it. I just, I, I wanted to kind of play with that for a quick second. Um, I have no idea how it works, but it just seemed like a cool way to be able to recall back to the base if I need to. I don't know if it has to build a soul up or what it does, but I'll look into that. We might touch on that next episode, but I've got plans for today. And today's plans is this page right here. I always say I don't want to do tinkering because we always do tinkering. Everybody knows tinkering. However, there's a lot of cool stuff here that I've never seen before. Like um, there's a tinker's tank and then there's the seared furnace. And so the seared furnace is a large multi-block furnace powered by lava. Okay, so it's a furnace, not a smell tree. So we need a seared furnace controller and seared bricks. Let's see, I need 24 of those, which means I'm probably gonna need to make more grout. So we'll, we'll check that out really quick. Uh, first thing I wanna do is look at the seared furnace. I believe it is a furnace wrapped around, yeah. So we gotta make up some more grout, which I think I have some left. I think I put some in here. I might've used it all. If not, I've got the sand. I've got the gravel and my clay should be over here. I've got clay. Oh, I don't need clay. I need unfired porcelain clay for grout. And I'm not seeing any bricks. So yeah. So we'll go ahead and smelt some of these up real quick. Um, let's see. Bricks. Grout. There we go. Okay. So seven of those. Those give me four per, so 7, 14, 21, 28. That'll give me 28 bricks. And let's go ahead and just smelt those up in here. Oh, actually, can I put them in the furnace? Is the furnace faster? Or the, yeah, the diamond furnace over here. Is that faster? Can I not do that? Which one? I just looked at this. A redstone furnace can do it. Interesting. Because that's the other stuff I want to do today. Let's start getting some powered stuff up. Maybe we'll make a redstone furnace and get that going because <clears throat> I want to get some power going today. And so the other thing I wanted to look at was looking at the uh, immersive engineering windmill and try to get some power going there because I have pretty much everything except for the windmill itself. I do have a capacitor. I do have a kinetic dynamo. Um, so I, I think that might be a good way to start getting some power and then I can start powering some of these uh, thermal expansion machines. So windmill. That's, that's what we're looking at right now. I promise there, there was a, a plan here. It just, they all kind of coincide. Uh, so the windmill is made with four windmill blades and iron ingot. Windmill blades are three treated planks and four sticks. All right. So let's go ahead and just grab a bunch of sticks for right now. 
and let's grab a bunch of planks and then we grab some buckets where's my buckets there they are and I'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> and just for the time being pick up my crafting table and move it right over here yes there we go so I need treated planks and treated sticks I think actually sticks aren't gonna help me are they because I have to make the treated planks to make the treated sticks. so if I remember correctly it's like that there we go and you there we go and you there we go and let's get a couple more don't know how many I'm gonna need right now but might as well make as many as I can it's been a while since I've really used immersive engineering but I think I'm kind of doing this the right way I never know <clears throat> I make a lot of mistakes we've we've all watched me play we all know I make a lot of mistakes but I think I'm heading in the right direction on this one and there we go and then we'll make up some sticks real quick I'm gonna need eight blades so I'm gonna need four so or eight of these there we go like that and now I should be able to make eight of them perfect and then just go grab an iron ingot which I should have a couple I do and then we'll be able to make the windmill like so I was kind of surprised that there was no like a cheap mo I, no I just heard the ding but I swear I looked in immersive engineering and there was nothing about the windmill so I don't know if that unlocks after something else like maybe the high voltage maybe that's where that unlocks I'm not sure but I did see the windmill sails which are something that you add to the windmill so I don't know um, let's get some power going here we're going to clear out a couple more of these blocks because I think I'm just going to put my thermal stuff right over here as well. And so I need to make sure the sail or the windmill has plenty of room. Um, I need to keep it clear of that. Let's go get the other dynamo stuff and the wires and all that fun stuff. So let me grab the MV capacitor and I guess we'll get MV wire relay and MV wire connectors. I'm pretty sure I can do the low voltage too, but I'm just grabbing the, the medium voltage because, well, why not, right? And let's go and put these sticks back that I don't need. And <clears throat> hoping for the best here. So, do I get some building blocks? I guess I can use these as building blocks. I want to make sure it's in a clear area. You know, I might do it back on this wall over here. This might be a good place for it. And I can put my thermal stuff back here in the corner. Let's see. I don't remember how much room it needs. Um, well, I can just dig this area out and then it'll have enough room. That looks like it's clear. Oh, no, not up there. Oh, I also did figure out how I was able to break blocks so far away. It's uh, in my armor. I've got, there we go. I've got this, this guy that has block reach on it. So I'm assuming that's how I've been able to do the crazy reach. Kind of makes sense, right? Um, and then we'll put our, did I forget to get the, I forgot to grab the dynamo. Let's go grab the dynamo and put that on there. <clears throat> and then we should start generating at least some power it's not a lot but it's some to get started so i can start running rf machines um yeah this is definitely not going to stay like this but for the time being it's just gonna have to work did you switch to that side you did so you should be generating rf although i don't see you actually generating rf um if i put a wire connector right there and we'll put a wire relay right there and I have a grasshopper from somewhere and then I can power my machines right over here so this this might be our ah hey this might be our immersive or not immersive our uh oh what's it called thermal expansion area this could be it right over here because I do want to get some of these machines up and running like quickly and let me just fill this in because I hate the look of just open spaces everywhere 
Um, mobs constantly making noise, I swear. All right, cool. And then I can start putting the machines over here. So let's let's test this out and make sure that I've got it all set up right. And I didn't even grab any copper coils, so let me do that. Um, I just grab this right here. And let's go ahead and grab our pulverizer and test this out. Because if this works, the very first thing I want to do is make a compressor so I can start yielding more uh, materials per um, chunk that I get when I'm sifting. So let's go ahead and put the pulverizer right here, I guess. We'll have to change our inputs and outputs, but <clears throat> if I put you right there and connect you to you, and you to you. Okay, um, that's a good sign. Yes, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hurt by the the line. So that means power is coming through, which is awesome. So we do have some power now. Um, I'll figure out a better way to get these all set up, but I want to start getting some of these machines set up. And like I said, the first one I want is the compactor. I think that's what it's called, compactor. Yes, the compactor which is a piston, a machine frame, some bronze, some copper gears, and redstone reception coil. Ooh, can I make bronze yet? That's an interesting question. Um, well, let's get the rest of these pieces together. I know I've got copper. Uh, let's see, I already have the two copper gears. Um, what else did I need? I need a piston, a machine frame. I think I made a couple of these, didn't I? Um, I did not. Oh, machine blocks is what I made. What is the recipe for machine frame? A machine frame is iron block in the resonator. Um, let's cook up some iron. Do I have any uncooked iron? I don't seem to have any uncooked iron. Let's, let's go cook up some iron. This is, and this is the loss that I don't want to keep taking right here. Um, <clears throat> so I need... Nine ingot, so we're going to make 18 ingots worth, which is, I need nine of these. I need 18 of these. There we go. And I moved my crafting table over here. And so I can put these in the smeltery at least and get double yield this way for at least the time being instead of having to pulverize. So that I can make the... Wait, that's not what I need. That's only going to give me four ingots. Okay, let's just make a whole bunch of these. I want to get it down so it only takes four of these. Um, <clears throat> so if you look up the recipe, um, under the compactor, it's four to make an iron chunk, whereas if you craft it, it's nine. So I just want to get it down to four instead of nine, basically. So that's going to give me two, four, six. Ah, what do you do? Four, six, eight, ten. Uh, that's... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Just enough to get the nine to make the block for right now. And bronze, that's what I got to kind of look into. Um, two bronze ingots. This one's a bronze dust. Um, okay, how do I get bronze? Like, you're not giving me a recipe for bronze. Do I need to make an alloy? Can I make the kiln yet? Um, it looks like I might be able to kiln brick, which is two bricks and two sand. And I need eight of these. So I need four of these recipes. So I need, uh, eight sand and eight brick that I can do that. I can definitely do. So let's make the kiln and then we can make some bronze up. Um, clay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can put you back in here and then I need some sand. I have no more sand. That's snad. I need one more gravel. Oh, so, okay. Let me grab my hammer. That's what I need to grab. Um, regular hammer. Regular hammer. I think I've got a regular hammer over in this chest over here. I do. Cool. So let's grab one more piece of gravel. Or sorry, cobble. Turn you into gravel. There we go. Let me throw the clay in here and get that started. Okay, cool. <laughs> and the gravel into sand. <clears throat> and I should have those. And then perfect, we'll be able to make the kiln. So then I can take copper and, I think it's copper and tin to make the bronze, right? I've been doing this recently. I don't remember where. Um, 
like that. Why is that not working? Sandstone. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can do that easily. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, and I need four more now. <laughs> Apparently there's a loss in the, the process. Okay, so eight more. All right. Not difficult, just a little, you know, extra work. Not a big deal. There we go. Make more of you. And you and you. Wait, why am I, why am I, why is my brain not working? Okay, I need 16 more. Ay, yay, yay. I can do this. I can, my brain does function from time to time. I mean, it's not the best brain. But it does function from time to time. And then I can do maths really good. The funny thing is, it's actually what I'm normally good at. Unless I'm playing a video game, apparently. And then it becomes very challenging. Alright, and you and you. And there we go. There's the eight of those. So, we're going to put our kiln... We'll put our kiln over in this area. I'll probably end up moving the uh, coke oven over here somewhere, too. For right now, I might just put it into this wall right here. That seems super simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have my, I do have my hammer on me and boop. There we go. Cool. <coughs> now I need to go get some copper and tin, which I believe I have some <laughs> in here. Uh, one, two. Well, I already have ingots. So we'll go over eight copper and where's my tin? That's silver. That's tin. And cook those up real quick, like in here. There we go. That shouldn't take too long at all. And then I can go make my two ingots in. Oh, I should probably grab some coal. Do I have coal around here somewhere. I have coal around here somewhere. Let's go over here. I have coal. That's where I saw it. And we'll get this all kilned up. Get some copper, get the compressor and our compactor. Hey, what are you doing? Wow, I reached all the way over there. That block reach is crazy. Okay. Uh, you and you. And coal. Okay, cool. So then we'll get our bronze. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What is this? Adobe brick kiln from Primal Core. Interesting. So there's no recipe for dry adobe brick. So that's kind of out of the question. All right, bronze, got you. What happened here? Why did you just break? Why Why did you break? Why are you not connected anymore? Stop. I must have hit it or something. I don't know. Um, and then I need to make a piston. I've got the iron and stuff like that. One. And one, two, three. One, two, three, four, and a piece of redstone. I don't have a lot, but I've still got a couple pieces. And we'll make our piston. Right. Yep. There we go. And let me go get that iron block real quick. So then I can make the machine frame. And that's everything, right? That's everything I need. Oh, no, the coil. I need gold with two redstone. Getting really low on redstone. Really, really low on redstone. <clears throat> but it'll be okay. Oh my gosh, it takes forever to cool down. Um, so if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to move you real quick. All right? I'm going to put the pulverizer right here for right now. Put the compactor right there. Um, put you there and connect you up like that and then we'll put the next one right here so we'll just power from the top for the time being i don't know exactly how uh i meant to grab that iron <laughs> how i'm going to set it up uh, like you know in the long run but for the time being it'll it'll work Boop. okay machine frame and now i should have everything uh you you oh nope gotta make you which means i need gold and two redstone I need to figure out how to get more redstone. I'm just not finding a lot when I'm mining. I find a little bit at a time, but not a lot. And compactor. 
Oh, still trying to make you. There we go. And finally, the compactor. Perfect. Now, hopefully, I'm right because, you know, <clears throat> sometimes I'll read things and then it never turns out the way that I thought it was going to. So, um, let's go ahead and put a connector right here and wire like that. Are you getting power? You are getting power. Awesome. And then this is uh, press, storage, press. Okay, so let's try this and see if it's just, if this is going to work. I can start putting all these into um, the chunks, like so. I, there we go. Just turn off all sides. And put you in there. Storage? Okay, so storage. And this should give me one. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that does work exactly how I wanted it to. So now I can start putting in stacks and getting 16 per instead of getting six per. <laughs> Quite more valuable. Awesome. So you're doing your thing and you're still, you're gaining a little bit of power. Okay, cool. That's cool. So cool. So we've got that going, which is awesome. Now, let me go clear out my inventory because I do want to get a little more of this tinker stuff done. So let's go ahead and put the grout in here, by the way. Let me get the rest of this iron out. Uh, there's four ingots left in there. Okay. How long do you take to smelt up? This shouldn't take too long to get the iron out. Three ingots. Two ingots left. <coughs> One ingot left. And I'm pretty sure the seared stone and the iron don't have a chemical mixture, but you never know what'll happen. So I want to get, make sure that's all out of there. Cool. And the grout is still cooking up and then we'll get right, seven times four, 28 of those ingots. So we should be good. Um, let's put some of this metal back. So I don't need you, you or you, right? Um, oh, I was going to put an intermediate. Do I have, I've got one more connector. So I want to put you, do I have two wires on me? I have one wire on me. That'll break. Okay, that'll work. So what I want to do is kind of start charging up a capacitor too, if that's possible. I don't know if it's 100% possible, but. Um, oh, that might not, I might need another one of you. Let us just do this like that. We'll go from the relay over to here and it's getting a little bit of power. Okay, cool. Just a little bit, not a lot. But if I put some wind sails on, which I know is an achievement, which is over here, the wind sails, sailment, eight of those, um, wind mill, not wind will, wind mill sail. That is six of these, which is six hemp cloth. So I need... Um, eight times six times eight. So 64, I, I might have enough hemp. Um, I might need a lot more actually, but at least I can put a couple on. If that's the case, at least I can put a couple on. Oh, do I have sticks on me? I've got regular sticks right there. My crafting table moved. Get used to where everything is. I move something around to try to be useful and it doesn't work out. Okay. So, oh, well that works. So there's six of those. That's going to give me one sale. Um, so obviously, oh, I just don't have enough six. Okay, hold on. Let me grab my more sticks and see how many I can make. My math was off. See, I mathed off. Uh, okay, so you, you, you. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. There's six. Okay, so there's three of those sales I can make. Um, like that? Yeah. <clears throat> and if I detect, yeah, three are already detected. So let's go put on these. I think you just right click them onto the sail. It's been a long time. I don't even remember if I actually did this one. Don't you just put them on here? Yeah, well, there you go. Okay, cool. And so it goes a little bit faster and it starts to produce just a little more RF. Cool. And so I can keep making the other five of those and eventually, yes, we'll have good things. So I need to go put hemp back in my uh, lovely cloche over here. So let me grab some hemp seeds real quick because I've used all my hemp. 
and we will put you right there and we'll take these out because that's just awesome food and there we go and useful stuff I consider the hemp useful stuff tools buckets hammers all that stuff uh, hammer there so I just I I'm trying so hard to stay organized and keep everything you know on the up and up so there's that I can put the relay back in here treated wood go in there blocks go there and the fibers I'm just gonna toss because I don't I haven't used those in a long time so there we go so those bricks should be all smelted up by now and so we'll be able to make those unfortunately I don't you know I've got fluid pipes I made some fluid pipes I should be able to do this a little bit quicker now um, they might be in this one that's leadstone that's item duct I've got fluid pipes somewhere could have sworn I made some um, I actually I know I made some because it's connected to the mob farm are they in here ah there we go fluid ducts and a servo perfect oh I don't need fluid ducts what am I talking about I need item ducts I'm going crazy here um, item duct like so Oh, I do need fluid ducts to go from the smeltery. That's what I needed. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, my brain's gonna work eventually, guys. It is. It really is gonna work eventually. Okay, two iron ingots, a glass, a redstone. Okay, I think that's my last redstone, isn't it? No, I'm down to two. Um, and then glass. Were you in here? Yes. And iron. One, two, one, two. Make up a servo real quick like so all right cool so the goal is to kind of get these bricks out as fast as possible now I'm trying to semi automate some of this stuff all right and oh that was such a bad idea pay attention oh my goodness my heart is racing again Okay, stop, stop burning, stop burning. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Okay, you can stop burning any time now. That, that's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> where's the hole I just fell through? Right there. Okay, so we want to go up like right here and I'll just pop up under. Oh my goodness. Mistakes upon mistakes. I forgot that I'm working over a hole that was here from the like beginning. There we go. Let's try doing that the safe way next time. There we go. Cool. I'm popping out right over here. There we go. Let's try that again in a much safer manner. Let's not jump in that hole, shall we? And there we go. Just enough to fill that hole. <laughs> okay. So what I was trying to do was put item ducts here and here and then I can put the servo on like that and turn that to redstone off and so you should pull right into this chest, right? Do you, oh there it goes. I was like do you not do that all of a sudden? Okay, and then a fluid duct <clears throat> right there. Uh, I need a wrench, but whatever um, Servo here and turn you off and you should start auto filling and making those seared bricks for us cool and now we're now we're doing better stuff let me grab a couple blocks just to fill that up real quick I hate that I, I shouldn't say I hate but I'm so used to just like grabbing blocks to you know fill stuff in or whatever it's funny that I have to craft them back into those every time all right cool good so now you're making the seared brick for me. All right, cool. That's much quicker, much more efficient. Um, I should probably grab a hammer just to disconnect it from the tank because that's going to bother me. Um, hammer should work, right? Hammer works like a wrench, if I remember correctly. So I just do that. Nope, it doesn't work like a wrench. Thought it did. Maybe it actually has to be the wrench from thermal. Um, no, I didn't want you in there. 
Do I have a wrench? Did I ever make a wrench? Oh, the wooden wrench. Let's see if the wooden wrench works. Do you work? You don't work either. Okay, so apparently it has to be a thermal hammer or a thermal wrench. Yeah, whatever that's called. It's actually called a hammer, isn't it? Yeah, even though it's a wrench. Uh, crescent hammer, which is three iron and a tin that I can do. Um, one, two, three. And one tin. Smelt that up. And just, oh, psh. guess I didn't need to really do that, did I? Okay, there. Psh. Now let's go disconnect that pipe. Just makes me feel better if the pipe's disconnected. All right, and there we go, cool. So I've got all my <clears throat> bricks now, right? 28 of them, okay. Let's check that achievement. <coughs> so under tinkering, uh, we were doing this one. Oh, and he's 24 seared brick. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot of seared brick. I'm going to have to make a whole bunch more. But at least I can kind of start <coughs> working on some of the other items. The seared tank I got, seared furnace controller. That we can do with a really quick furnace. Although, do I have enough nether brick? It's been a while. Uh, eight of those, along with eight nether rack. To make you. Right? been a while that's the, yeah I was like it's been a while but I think that's the recipe right yeah there we go and <clears throat> there we go so it's seared furnace controller and then we're gonna have to make more of those bricks so I'm gonna have to make more grout and I think I'll do that in the meantime and get this one set up somewhere close by and start just kind of mass producing um, the the seared brick because I do want to get going on the seared furnace as well as the tinkers tank um, is a large multi-block tank that can store multiple fluids at a time without mixing them. I think that's really, really cool. So we're going to look into that for next time. But at least I now have the ability to compact um, these chunks over here and no longer uh, lose a yield of almost more than two to one. <clears throat> so that's really, really cool. That I, I want to get more of the thermal expansion stuff done, getting going as well. So... Yeah, um, more sales on the way once that hemp gets going. So we'll get a couple things done in the meantime, and then when we come back, uh, we can look into a little more expansion, maybe building these guys if I don't do it off camera. And then I do want to start getting further into thermal expansion. So um, we've got, as funny as it is, the compactor's not even one of the ones it wants me to make. So we'll look into that stuff. Uh, RF tools is something we can also take a look at because I have been finding dimensional shards and now I actually have a mining level high enough to mine them, which would be nice as well. So anyways, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc and I'm out of here. Peace.